So, whichever version I go for, that ends up being the truth. I'm guessing there's more than one ending of this game. Yeah, I'm sorry. Maybe I can't explain all of my reasoning now. I suppose uh, it makes more sense to me that she wasn't trying to kill Tyler. I, I still don't buy that she would. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I think... I think Tyler's just quite an angry person, to be honest. Well, I was certainly angry about the stuff in the past. Anyway, and yeah, Alison doesn't just have to live with this. She has to continue to live with the people of Dallas Crossing, doesn't she? I mean, even if she moves, these people have been her friends for years. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to choose Alison's version. And maybe I just like maybe I just think Alison's version is kinder I mean it means Alison made a horrible mistake but it makes her mum a kind person I'm not gonna hurt you I'm not gonna hurt you herself. You interrupted her and we, we got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic. Tyler, that was meant for us. It was her way of, of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. I don't think I'd be happy with them hating their mum forever. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? A little bit aged well, or just kind of bad? Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. 
It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. I really like Austin's clothing style throughout this game. I mean, Tyler's fine too, you know, but I think Allison is the best dress character. That's not something I often think about with computer games. Well, you've seen the ending you're going to see. You can look out the other ending if you want. This is the one I happen to like. Besides which, this has been going on for 19 episodes now, and I'm ready to take a break and do something else. This episode has probably been quite long. And it's still going. One last look, I'm good to go. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it then. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. 
I'm going to need like twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay, I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. So, yeah. Um, I've got a feeling that I probably ended up splitting this episode into two because of how long it is. So if I did that, that's why there's no intro here and there's no outro to the previous episode. Hey goblins, word in town is you guys finally sold the house. I came by tonight to help you fix what needs to be fixed, but there's nobody home. Are you gone already? Things change so fast these days. Anyway, you know where to find me if you want me to fix things. If you're still in town, I mean. It's getting late and I'm pretty tired. Oh, and I'm sorry for acting like the stupid ass I am. Everywhere I look, I think about what used to be. I've been trying to do better, but I think it might be too late for an old pair like me. Not sure if this will reach you. It's getting late. Call me if you're still around. Be safe, Sam. P.S. It wasn't easy. It was as easy to fix everything as a boat. Oh, I wish it was as easy to fix everything as a boat. Sorry. Um, okay, yes. I like the uh, the goblin bitches. Mm, okay. Cool. Sucks to suck, Thomas Anthony Fecky. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Dearest Tyler and Allison, I'm writing this letter from Juno International Airport while I was sitting aboard a praying to Manila, Manila on a missionary assignment. I apologize for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I was called to make this decision alone and to carry it out on my own as well. I'm sure you understand that sometimes you must fall without question prompting the spirit. I will not be coming back to doubt. Delos Crossing for some time. Before I go, there's still something I fear I must confess to you both. Perhaps because I've never found the strength to confront my husband. I've never been able to forgive Marianne for a betrayal. I truly did love you both like my own children and always tried to forgive your mother for an apologetic lifestyle. But when I discovered that you were the fruit, fruit of her affair with my Thomas, I wanted her to suffer like I was suffering. I brought down on your house a wrath I never dared allow to unfold in mine. I've been deeply ashamed all these years. I'm surprised how much better I feel with it out in the open. The greatest thing about truth is the peace it brings to your life. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. You've taught me once again how love will bring you further in life. Something that Marianne had been trying to show me all along. Take care of each other always. In his steps, Tessa. is so weird, but at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ha. Huh. Okay. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. Goodbye, broom. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? For posterity. Can't be much sounds to find. Unless we're supposed to uh, go out to the um, the barn. This is goodbye for real, I guess. <laughs> hey, Aaron, it's Ty, Tyler Ronan. I, uh, I thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch, staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. That's it. Good game. I will be starting a new Let's Play soon. Okay, let's have a look at this.